Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Liberate Donations. My name is Eleonora and today we are going to be talking about the Pisces new moon that's happening on March 13th with its peak time of 2.20 a.m. and that's for Pacific Standard Time. Pisces is a water mutable sign ruled by Jupiter so we'll have a very spiritual, creative, explorative, sensitive, and expansive lunation ahead of us. To start us off, this is my favorite aspect of this new moon, which will be both Venus and Neptune will be conjunct in Pisces. This to me is an optimal aspect to support us going within and exploring ourselves, connecting with both ourselves and other people around us, but also connecting with how we self-express, how we connect to our spirituality. It could be good to indulge in activities that help us expand our mind or our creativity or really just bring us pleasure overall. Maybe some of the ideas that we come up during this time will help us make money in the future. Overall, this Venus-Neptune conjunction just sounds very, very nice and flowy and spiritual and very with a lot of um creativity potential next up we do have saturn and aquarius which will be trying mars and gemini this aspect to me it's the motivation to work towards and take action with our passion projects but also having the discipline and the stamina to get long-lasting goals out of this. Lots of mental activity with this aspect because it is in two air signs and they are being ruled by not only the planet of action but also the planet of structure. So I think this is a very, very beneficial aspect to really get in the grind and try to manifest anything or any ideas that you're very adamant or passionate about right now. Lastly, we do have a loose square between Saturn and Aquarius and Uranus and Taurus. And as I mentioned a couple videos ago, this is a signature of 2021. It's that push and pull energy that we're getting this year. Last year was Saturn and Mars. This year is Saturn and Uranus. So with this, really don't be afraid to try something new because you're scared or because you've never done it before or because that's not the way it's been done. Boundaries and structures are always bound to go through a makeover. They're always bound to change. So shift them as you see fit to how you're evolving and growing during this time. The donation overall can have a good potential on birthing and manifesting projects, objectives, um, goals that you're passionate about. And we actually have the drive and structural support to get these done. Okay, now we're gonna pull a card for you guys. And as always, this is just an energy that we can find grounding and comfort in during this new moon. All right, we got two cards for this. First one, third house. You know, the third house just keeps popping up for us, guys. Um, I guess we're really meant to be doing more community work, more communication work, um, more connecting with our immediate surroundings. Maybe this is connecting with your brother, sisters, sibling. Yeah, lots of themes of communication and connection for sure, this donation. So I don't know if you have some friends that have the same interests as you or trying to pursue the same goals and need a little bit of help. It would be nice to connect with those people, help out those people, or just really be more open to what's around you. Maybe this is a message that you just need to be exactly that, just need to connect more and be more open to receiving things from your immediate environment or from your immediate community as well. Then we have the 10th house. You guys know what that means. Career time. It's time to, the 10th house is not only our career path and our public image, but it's also the most authentic expression of our ego like what the 10th house to me it's like what do you want to do who do you want to be seen as in this world what 
you know, sixth house is more of like day to day work. It's like, okay, that's my retail job or that's my warehouse job or that's, you know, my nine to five job. And then 10th house is more of like, what, what makes me me? What do I want to bring out in this world? I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I think with this, maybe this new moon is asking you to really evaluate like, okay, hey, who do you want to be? What do you want to do? Like what? What do you want to be remembered by? What do you want to leave in this world after you're gone? It's your legacy. It's like, who were you? Who were you in this life? Like, are you going to be happy looking back when you're like 80 or 90 and being like, oh, I actually went, you know, went after the things that I wanted to do. That it is your career doesn't mean that it has to be your main source of income. That's not what the 10th house is. It's literally the highest expression of your ego. Like, what do you want to do? No matter if you'll make money or not, what do you want to do? Um, so really ask yourself that and use that Venus-Neptune conjunction to really tap into your values, your creativity, where you are spiritually, and who you want to be. Like, what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? What do you want to leave behind? Really are questions that you can ask yourself right now. Services to recommend as usual with every new moon. I say readings, intuitive readings, tarot, energy, oracle, whatever it is. I think would be great at this point, especially since we do have that Venus-Neptune conjunction, um, probably leaning into spirituality and connecting with your guides, angels, or any practitioner that you really feel close to can be beneficial just so that you can have a clear mind on what you really want to manifest if you want to manifest anything during this lunation. Uh, the meditation that we recommend is going to be Meditation and Healing for Thriving Success with the Leigh Reyes and that's going to be on Thursday, March 18th at 5 p.m. for Pacific Standard Time. All of our meditations are $15 and then you get a 48-hour replay sent the night of so you can watch as many times as you want during those 48 hours. Okay, you guys, that is it for this beautiful, creative, spiritual, and awesome new moon in Pisces. Let me know how you guys are doing. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. If you ever need us, you can DM us, email us, call us at the shop with your spiritual needs. We got you. I am sending everybody much, much love, many, many blessings, and have a very happy new moon. A reading is a shared time and space with someone who is spiritually connected. An opportunity to get clarity and reassurance, um, guidance on any area of your life that you may feel stuck or not in flow with. So readings are basically um, extremely helpful for you to make decisions that needed to be made. For having clarity on life's questions, healing, um, empowerment to move someone from fear to being empowered. When you're feeling stuck, when you can't answer the question yourself, when you find yourself in a little bit of a spin out. I don't think there's anything that a reading is not good for. You know, the perfect time for a reading can be any time. We are constantly changing, so we are constantly coming up against obstacles or reoccurring patterns that we need to check in with. When things just feel really heavy and dark and you might be a little confused about some of the things on your, on your path, maybe certain relationships or opportunities. So we all have blind spots. So when you find yourself in a blind spot, that's a really good time to get a reading. So readings are good to check in to find out where your progress is through the eyes of someone else who's holding you in the highest good for all concerned. Change is always good ultimately, and sometimes it's hard to see that, and readings bring you back to that center of what it's for for you. 